first of all, can I just say the Hamas tunnels looked way better than this? This is shoddy <laughs> workmanship. Rad. And it is bringing back a little bit of a classic, which is the blood libels. People want to know what's the number one news story that people would want to ask a Jew about if they could. The Prob number one. Look at the yeah. Prob either either the tunnel story. It's the tunnels coming out it's of the, the Middle East or the tunnel nope. story coming out of the the Northeast. And do they connect somewhere along the line? <laughs> That's the third question. Yes, the tunnels coming out of New York. The, the tunnels in the Middle East, you're not going to ask the Jews about. You're going to okay, ask I actually, okay, the other Jews. Okay, all the, right, all right, the, all right. The non-Jews. So you, who so you want to talk about the tunnels? I want to talk about the tunnels. I want to theorize. Okay, maybe so. Maybe we know something they don't. You know, maybe we can do maybe we can do something like this. Maybe I'll go to Google. Pull up type Google in. and just type in Jewish tunnels. and then I'm typing in New York tunnels. and Wait, show us your screen. Uh, that's Ben. Ben, can you just... Please. Nope. By the way, <laughs> the New false York claim, wait, wait. false claim, false claim. Synagogue tunnels. Close close to close enough. Enough. Oh, no, no, no. It's not close enough. Okay, here's what it is, Mayor. First off, I want to start this conversation by saying, and I want everyone to understand this: New York City synagogue tunnel incident, goaded band name. Okay. <laughs> One of the best ones I've heard. Yeah, in fact, that's uh, going that's in up, the list. After that's up this. there with like Death Cab for Cutie. Yeah, it is. It's like or, the uh, Jewish death cap you know, for cutie. New York yeah, synagogue, just, synagogue tunnel got incident. Five, dude. six words in there. It's great. Dude, Jewish it's man sentence. behind NYC synagogue tunnel viral video thread says, okay, so here's the long and short of it. There's a place in New York called 770. It is a hub for religious activity, specifically amongst the Lubavitch sect of Jews. Let me jump in right there. Let me Go jump ahead. in right there. There's many different kinds of Jews, okay? We've got a million different kinds. The Lubavitch ones, they have a very specific set of beliefs where they believe that the Messiah, correct me if I'm wrong, the Messiah is embodied in this guy named Menachem Mendel Schneerson, who is basically what they would call the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get the second coming of Schneerson. That's what they want. Also go to band name. Okay, like there's going to be a lot of good band names this episode. I could feel it right now. But the second coming of Schneer said, I would see them at Warp Tour. I'm not going to lie. Like, I would, honestly. But, okay, so you right, got that mostly it. right. You got that mostly right. We are so not Lubavitch. Not all Lubavitchers, not all Lubavitchers are uh, messianic in nature. There are, uh, there's a schism. There, there really is an honest schism in that particular group between whether or not they hold uh, their rabbi, who is now passed, to be a potential candidate for the Messiah. Right. Moving we, on from that, moving on from that, right. um, I want to just we, talk about – go ahead. Should, should, can we just – I want you to pick your favorite headline out of these, like, what, seven? I want you to pick your favorite headline. Um, I have I mean, one. I'm just picking one based off of the name of the paper that I like the most. It's clearly Hindustan Times over here. All right, that's a good one. I do they're stand probably the gonna have a times. favorable. They're gonna have a favorable opinion, I'm sure. My my favorite one is from the New York Post. Extremist Jewish teens secretly hired migrants to dig covert Brooklyn. Dot dot dot. Yes. What? So no. So that's exactly what happened. Actually, now it's not the migrants you may be thinking of, Shawshank style. Hey yo, <laughs> they covered up the hole with some naughty nudie posters. The whole thing. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so yeah, exactly. I'm I'm going to assume that the immigrants they're talking about are probably Israeli immigrants. They're probably not. You probably thought of Mexican migrant labor. I don't think that, that, that that's what, what, what it is. Of. I don't think Let's that that's what say. it is. Um, I don't think they're going to uh, specify. But there is a guy named Eitan Kal Kalmowitz. Eitan. Name. Eitan Kalmowitz. Um. So describing workers as Mexicans. Nope, they said it right here. I swear to God, I know all of the people. I know in this all picture. of those guys. <laughs> like, Dude, that's freaking Amster right there. Wait, wait, look, go up one second. Go up one second, Mayor. It go up a little bit. It says here later the men, most of them in their teens and early twenties, took up a collection and hired a group of migrant laborers to finish a job. Kamowit said, describing the workers as Mexicans. The freaking. That's how he Kalmowitz. described them. But I, I'm not believing it. First of all, can I just say the Hamas tunnels looked way better than this? This is shoddy <laughs> workmanship. <laughs> My yeah. my fellow Jews, we gotta step it up. Okay, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. All right, extremist so, yeshiva students. Wow. So that's exactly what happened. So I'll tell you, 
essentially what it was the tunnels described so down there part of an extreme group then hired migrant. so i'll tell you so this is a baby, is a baby carriage thing? this is a baby carriage yeah and that's not a good sleep. look people would sleep in the tunnels um this is their rabbi um that, you see that kid there, in the bottom so. left he was raised yeah. in the tunnels dude yeah <laughs> god there's wow. a lot of them how come they can't get as organized when building the tunnels? I mean, look at this photo. That is clean, dude. I'll tell you right now, Ben, I've actually seen the video of what it takes to organize this picture, and it is chaos like you would never believe. Because <laughs> also you have to understand that these rabbis come from all over the world for this picture. Not all of them speak English. And then even so, you may say, well, what if they're trying to communicate in Yiddish or in Hebrew? And I'm like, listen... If you're already bouncing between three languages, something's going to get lost in translation, and it is hectic beyond yeah. belief. But here's what happened. Here's what happened. Not too far from 770, there was a mikvah. Ben, why don't you tell them what a mikvah is? A mikvah is like a pool where you can wash and, and cleanse your body. You can cleanse pots and pans. You can store excess tunnel devices. It's got a lot of uses. <laughs> okay, so it's a it's a ritual purification bath, right? That's what mm. it is. You clean your sins away from your body, and you clean the spiritual filth away from the dishes, right. whatever residue may be left. You clean your sins, your shins, and your in your bins. Woo! That's what you do. That's not bad. Not, 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 bad, bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, there used to be a mikvah not too far from seven seventy where everyone would go use the mikvah the guy who owned that building did not pay taxes so the building was foreclosed on and reclaimed by the bank or the state of new york one or the other or both. just more jews uh just more yeah I hate more. <laughs> so does this so does that count as a hate crime like uh is that a can, can I create? Can I do a hate crime against my own people? It's a self, uh, well, there's them. Well, black on black crime exists, white on white crime exists, and so now there's Jew on Jew crime. We want to get in the mix, we want to get yeah. in on the action. So, basically, what happened is the mikvah was closed, and these Jews felt as though they still had a spiritual right to use that area and gain access to it. Yeah. And so, you know, a couple of them did that and they got caught and it's good. Now, the issue really, there's a lot of issues. I'll say this is clearly very unsafe, unsafe working conditions. They were digging underneath the foundations of apartment buildings, which like fucking you knock down the wrong beam. It's all coming down. And so my uh, yes. opinion is, my opinion is, it's good, man. Let let the Jews do what they want because if you don't, we're gonna drain your bank account and we're, we'll turn all the oil into sand, and you're gonna be stuck driving electric cars, and you're gonna be, yeah, you know, we'll do it. We'll fucking we'll do fucking it, do it. You think we're we'll not gonna do it? it? We'll do it. We're gonna do it. We're we'll gonna do, do it right now. Right now? All right, you no, ready? No, I'll give him, give I'll him do shot, it. Give him a shot. Don't flip the switch. I was gonna do the it. Switch. Are you sure? May, uh, what's your name on this thing? Hold on. Uh, Schwing. I Schwing. already lifted Schwing? the little plastic. Swig? I already. My name? Yeah. Swig? Swig. Glurg. Okay. It's not hard. Yeah. Your name is Glurg. Okay. I already lifted the plastic cap. There. There's a big red button. I had to put. Oh, shit. That, 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 reflip. Unflip. I can't do that. I though. felt a little tremor. So. That's my opinions on the tunnels, man. I think it's not good. I think it's unsafe. But let the Jews do what they want or else. Can we conspirize and theorize for a second? Yeah, go ahead. There, I heard a rumor floating around on the interwebs that and, – and in one of those photos, we did see a baby carriage. Okay. And it is bringing back a little bit of a classic, which is the blood libels. Ooh. That's it is kind of coming back a little bit. A little bit. Also, little Blood bit. Libel, another fantastic band name. Uh, but I, I would say that uh, that is not a good look for us, okay? We shouldn't be having strollers in tunnels. But is that what I what, – what is it? No, a it, it was a baby thing? carriage, uh, a little baby carrier. Yeah. A cradle. Yeah, a cradle. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know who decided – like because obviously you're not going to move a, a – 
a carriage, a baby carriage down there without a baby? Well, they could have been using it to move rocks Shovels. like like a dolly like instead of like a wheelbarrow because yeah they got dollies a, and wheelbarrows for that they couldn't fit a wheelbarrow down there so they had a collapsible baby carriage but no the reality is there were families and people living down there the, they found undocumented immigrants from israel yeshiva students who overstayed their visa technically um okay. and they were just camping in the motherfucking tunnels of but not to be fair you and I, we've been in a yeshiva that had tunnels underneath it. So known tunnels. I guess that is tunnels. the difference. That is the difference. Sanctioned tunnels. Pre built, pre built government approved yeah. tunnels. Understood that there will be tunnels. Yeah. When and you also, went by there, the way, they told you about the tunnels. That's you know, that's the thing. The tunnels had smooth walls. Okay. Yeah. Like they were well defined tunnels. It wasn't like I can just offshoot from there and build like another tunnel. Like there was no building of another tunnel. There was already set tunnels. These guys are building new tunnels. And like, I don't know if you, have you ever seen Cash Jordan? You ever see shout out Cash Jordan? Yeah. Yeah. Cash Jordan, he's walking around and I could do a, a pretty good Cash Jordan impression. Go ahead. All right, but I can't. Really and now they're coming for your stuff here. Okay. That's my, that's, that's my pretty Cash good. Jordan. That was pretty, pretty fucking good. I'll give that an 8 out of 10, dude. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a nice even number. But basically, um, Cash Jordan, shout out Cash Money Jordan, he was saying that they, some of the like uh, uh, parking garages and things like that were all falling apart. And in the same state that like buildings that have are like up to code technically are falling apart, they're building goddamn tunnels underneath. And it's right in the middle of like – it's probably the worst PR time for the Jews since before. This is what, what, what are you guys? I, I gotta speak directly to the Chabadniks out in New York, okay? Talk to him. Talk this to him. Di Rabid, okay? <laughs> That's what I have to say to you. This Machdi, okay? And to the non Jews out there, and also the Jews who are kind of out of it a little bit, that means the fuck, okay? Yeah, pretty much. That's what that means. It means the fuck are you doing? Like, Wait until all that shit blows over, and then maybe tunnels. Ugh. That's so it. You, so you're saying you're okay with the tunnels, just not now. If they if they were like just a little more responsible with the tunnel building, because here's the thing, Mayor. Let me, uh -huh. or Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. What do you think of tunnels in general? It's kind of scary. No, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Let, let's say I went to you. I got three buddies with me, and like, dude, we're gonna go build a tunnel. You in? Well, yeah, but I'll be scared. It's fine. A little scared. I'd be scared of bungee jumping. I'm still going to go. Well, you Tons know what the great. Sick. Well, you know what Rabbi Will Smith said. What I mean, he said, "Whoo, ha ha." Shabbat he shalom. said, "It's okay." He said, "Rabbi Sai, Mavel and Benjamin, it's okay to be scared." No, I actually, that, I what think, did he I, say? No, no. He I think he, he said, gonna do it. "Keep your motherfucking shovels." Out of my motherfucking tunnel, I think is what he said. What? Did he, yeah, that's no. Then he then he did a big slap on Rabbi Christopher. No, he Rockovich. said it's better to be scared while doing it than too scared to than too scared to do it. Is that what he said right before the slap? No, he said that right before jumping off of a helicopter. I think that's very Rabbi Will Smith to do. Dude, he always jumped off of high things. I mean, look, Tom Cruise, Will Smith. LeBron really? Trump. I'll be honest. I got nothing for the motherfucking tunnels. I think. He, uh, he, he, oh, I guess I guess this this video is more like just uh, us saying on behalf of all Jews, we didn't know. OK, and we still don't know. OK, we knew you weren't supposed to. Let's mm. get back to that little arrangement for the sake of everybody's Sh bank accounts. Everything's been solved. No one. No one is. Curious what the Jews everything's are doing been We're solved. Good. Better call solved. Favorite, our favorite. Well, that was a good. That was a good. Maybe Jewish lawyer. We, we want to know what you guys think. We want to know if you guys be you very like anti-Semitic in the comments. We don't care. Yeah, you know what? The you know what? I'll tell you this: the most the most racist and anti-Semitic comment on this Wins video gets read out loud in our next video at the very yeah. beginning. So make it a good one, and can't wait to get canceled.